Hi, I'm Tere. I'm a guide with Northwest Alpine Guides and Mountain Gurus. Um, and for this video, we'll be talking about boots and crampons and how they fit together. There are a lot of different mountain mountaineering boots you can choose from when you're climbing and a lot of different crampons. So we'll try to shed some light on all of that. Um, all of the information that I'm going to be talking about in this video is available on our website at our boot and crampon guide. We'll include a link to that um, page with this video. So for our boots, um, for our rental fleet, we use the La Sportiva Nepal series of boots. Um, we've got a wide variety of sizes for you to rent when you come in. They're good for summer climbing in the Cascades, um, but they're also pretty light and nimble. So the La Sportiva Nepal is a um, synthetic and leather hybrid boot. You can also climb in plastic boots. Those are fine, um, a little warmer, a little bit heavier usually. Uh, but you'll want to think about the amount of insulation in your boot um, and make sure that you have warm enough boots for the season and the altitude at which you'll be climbing. Um, the important things about any pair of mountaineering boots, so we want them to be full shank. That means they're, they're nice and rigid. Um, they're not flexing underneath your crampon. Um, we like having a, a Vibram sole. Uh, this is like a tire tread while you're going up the mountain. Extra traction when you're in mud, on rock. Um, Vibram, Vibram is also kind of sticky. It almost works like a rock shoe, so if you're on a rock slab, there's some good traction there too. Um, and then also really important are our toe, bail, our toe welts and our heel welts. Um, these are what we use to attach to crampons. Some boots don't have a pronounced toe welt. You'll have to use a different crampon binding system for those. Same way some boots won't have a, teal, a heel welt. Again, you just need to use a crampon system that works for you. But we really prefer, if you're climbing with us on glaciers, that you have a good toe welt and a good heel welt because the crampons that fit those welts are going to be the uh, most sort of secure for your boot. So moving on to crampons. Crampons also, a lot of different shapes and sizes, attachment systems for these. Um, we really want you to use, it's essential that you use 12 point steel mountaineering crampons. So these are the points on our crampons. Steel is important because it stands up to abuse. We use our crampons on snow, ice, and also rocks on a lot of our climbs. Aluminum doesn't hold up quite as well as a steel crampon. Um, a few other parts of the crampon, uh, these plastic pads on the bottom are called anti-balling plates. Those are nice to have because they prevent snow from clumping up inside your points, which can make your crampons very slippery, basically make them useless. Um, crampons are adjustable usually in terms of size for your boot. Uh, usually most steel mountaineering crampons like these will fit a pretty wide range of sizes, but if you have a very large boot, probably above size 12 or so, you may need to buy a longer center bar so that you can extend this crampon farther and actually fit that big boot. So the other key piece of a crampon um, is the binding system or the attachment system to the boot. There are a few different varieties here. Really, it just depends on the shape of your, of your boot. If you have these pronounced toe and heel welts, then you can use what we call a step-in crampon. So you'll have this metal snap lock in the back, and then in the front you would have a stiff steel toe bail. Um, and that just fits right into that toe welt. That's probably the most secure form of attachment for a crampon. Um, this is a slightly modified version. This has a plastic toe bail, which means that it fits a wider variety of boots. Um, and it'll look just like this once it's attached to the boot. I can use this plastic toe bail with a boot that doesn't have uh, the real pronounced welt right up front here. But it's still pretty darn secure. Okay, so that's a quick, hopefully useful summary of you know, boots and crampons, a few things to think about. And again, all that information is available on our boots and crampons uh, page on our website, northwestalpineguides.com. Thanks for watching.